popular and widely played sports in America is the game of golf. Enjoy delight by duffer and expert, thousands throng the nation's fairways day. Pinehurst, situated in the heart of the Old South, with its excellent hotels, beautiful homes, and three fine courses, is a golfer's paradise that draws followers of the game from all corners of the world. Here, with the coming of afternoon, even the townsfolk close up shop to answer the call of the fairway. One and all, store proprietor, banker, barber, and minister fling their clubs over their shoulders and head for the country club and their favorite sport. Two miles away lies Taylortown. This unusual settlement of the caddies and their families was built from the proceeds of its chief industry, chasing golf balls. Off to work, these caddies are eager to take their place in line at the caddy house and await their turn to carry and chase for their sporting employer. Clubs are stacked at the first tee, while the golfers tune up their shots on the practice green. For it is practice that makes the champion. And though golf is just a game to the sportsman, to the pro it is the serious business of winning tournaments. Whether the play is at Cherry Hills near Denver, Colorado, Spring Mill, Philadelphia, Bobby Jones's course at Augusta, or elsewhere on the tournament circuit, the pros are out to win. Now let's see just what it takes to be a tournament winner. And so to Pebble Beach, California, with Dick Metz, master of the smooth approach, Jimmy Thompson, longest driver in the game, and Horton Smith, most consistent putter among the pros. They contend that it is mastery of the short shots around the green, the perfect execution of the almost trick shot from difficult lies, whether in deep rough, casual water or sand trap, that are the deciding factors in tournament play. To be sure, there is probably nothing more gratifying than to get up to the tee and smack out a long ball straight down the fairway such as this, won by Jimmy Thompson. And now in slow motion, note the perfect coordination and rhythmic swing. Dick Mitt pulls down but long drives won't win matches unless followed by accurate approaches to the green. Here Dick Metz, approaching from the fairway, grips the shaft of his number seven iron with a firm overlapping grip, and using a three-quarter swing to assure accuracy, cleanly hits the ball, which lands nicely on the green close to the pin. But Jimmy Thompson is in a tougher spot. Taking a heavy wedge to cut through the grass, he takes a short, powerful swing. And see what happens. Dick now shows us the correct way to play a short one. There it is, right on the green. Sometimes we're faced with a situation like this, but Jimmy Thompson is not discouraged. Taking a heavy niblick from his bag, he addresses the ball, sinking his feet securely in the sand. Hitting behind the ball, he blasts. But now in search of new hazards to test their skills, we leave beautiful Pebble Beach for Augusta, Georgia. Here, Jimmy illustrates the form it takes to knock out his long run. Note the overlapping grip. Left thumb placed along the shaft, hands gripping it firmly. His weight evenly distributed on his feet, and his eyes are on the ball as he makes a stroke and follows through.
Look at this. A tree directly between Jimmy's ball and the pin. But unperturbed, he selects a number nine iron, and with a nice easy swing, keeping his head down, lifts the ball cleanly off the ground. And it lands for an easy putt. In order to hold some greens, if necessary, to put a reverse spin on the ball, Dick Metz demonstrates how this is done by hitting the ball while the club is still coming down. Sometimes it is necessary to play a long ball from a sand trap. Jimmy blasts this one out and it falls squarely onto the green over 100 yards away. Should his ball land in such a spot as this, does not pick it up and throw it on the bank as you or I would, but dons his waterproof suit and wades out to the ball, careful not to touch the water with his club on the way, which would lose him a stroke. A full swing with his wedge sends the ball not only out of the water, but onto the green. he can master the art of putting. Horton Smith, after having dropped a few short ones, will show you how to sink them from anywhere on the green. He uses a reverse overlapping grip, the first finger of the left hand overlapping the right. The ball off the left foot and his knees slightly bent, he strokes it smoothly with wrists held firm. With the same form, he drops another long one. Sometimes the longest way around is the shortest way to the cup. Ah, but it's not quite in. This won't do. So lying carefully, Horton tries again. That's much better. In tournament match play, stymies must be played. Horton eyes this one carefully, selects the mashy niblick, and... <laughs> oh well, there's really nothing to the game of golf after all.